So we're here in Clarehead, uh, which is in near Drada. As you can see, the boats are getting ready for the race down the Boyne. It is miserable conditions. We're here with, and uh, we've got Joe. Joe, oh, uh, how are you feeling it's, today? It's, I'm feeling kind of miserable, like the weather. Yeah. But sure, we just keep going. Yeah, very good. Very good. Oh, it's a great day for Invercopa, I suppose. With, after the pandemic, we haven't had this event for a couple of years, so um, yeah, we're looking forward to it. Um, a lot of organising in it, but the, the the committee that was there did a great job. So, and it's a great it's a great course, you know, rowing from Clarehead all the way into the middle of Drada. So, what's your own What's your own name? James McEvitt, James, Yeah, nice yeah. To meet you. And what's your name? Jerry. Jerry, and what what do you do yourself? I'm Coxon. Coxon, okay. And yourself? I'm a rower as well. Rower. And uh, Dara, I'm a rower as well, yeah. In for, in for what sort of training have you been doing uh, as a group? Very, very hard. <laughs> <laughs> very, very hard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we were doing a little bit of extra stuff in the gym and stuff like that because the weather wasn't great. So, um, ah, That's getting out on the river. We, we're actually lucky. We have a river to, to row on, but we didn't get out a lot at sea. And we did a lot of, a lot of gym work and stuff like that. So, yeah, yeah. We're, we're confident of them enough to get a, a place today. <laughs> What's your team name? Castle From the Antrim Coast. Antrim Coast. Jeez, that's a good old journey down today. Yeah, yeah. we're determined. We're yeah. taking away the gold medal, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Best You're of luck to you. Thanks very much. Take care, right? Thanks. Main man. man the operation. <laughs> we'll be doing all the shouting. <laughs> Excellent, well done guys. Take care of yourselves. John gone out already. What time did you start at this morning? We left Wicklow out at five. So we had to be here at quarter to seven to unload both, but the race isn't starting until quarter past ten. Okay. So we've a bit of a we've got a bit, bit of a time. lull now, yeah. And any sort of um, uh, incidents this morning on the way up? Everything was all good. Everything was fine until we uncovered the boat we got to lend off, which has no bung in it first. So hopefully the RNLI there are after putting in a makeshift job there. So okay. hopefully now that's gonna. Right. work first they want us to try it on the water before they'll let us out um, you know, for safety the, reasons what does the bung do just for stops water getting in so the boat will float rather than sink right so so it's a pretty pretty serious thing yeah okay. it is yeah so that's why he wants us on the water tested for yeah. water safety before he'll let us out in it How are you? We are good. How are we you are feeling? Good. Yeah. Hundred percent. You. Raring to go. Raring to go. Yeah, I wish we'd had left ten minutes ago. <laughs> it's a rowing race. <laughs> <laughs> we are rowing from Clarehead to Drogheda. Yeah. Coming down the Irish Sea, in through the estuary, down the Boyne River. Okay. And it's uh, the Boyne River race. Uh, around in the, the Grania Whale, it's a, an, or, an East Coast skiff. Yeah, That's it down there on the beach there. Yeah. Colin, no pressure. 
Gareth, what's happening? Who are you with today? With uh, Dan Leary in the two man Dunleary. up against George. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't give him too much. I want a big head start off George. I believe somebody took the bung out of their boat. You don't know anything about that, do you? No, no, I wouldn't be one for bungs. <laughs> you know, it's uh, How's life anyway. Good mate. You, yeah. were, you got married recently, didn't you? Uh, oh, well. Two weeks ago, yeah. Well, yeah. was it? Yeah, yeah. Congratulations. Yeah. Eventually. Man. Yeah, Finally, yeah, yeah. a few escapes there, but uh, yeah. no, she got me by the ear and dragged me down the aisle in the end, yeah, you know. So, yeah, yeah but um, uh, I don't mean to interrupt you. Uh, I just wanted to. I saw your face there, and I, saw, I thought I'd say hello. And Marvelous. Best of luck to you today, yeah. right? Have Great stuff. Team. Nice right, to see you, care. Owen. See you, guys. What's your own name? Uh, Fiona Kelly. I'm Karen Grogan. Nice to meet you both. Thank you. And wh what's the, the technical challenges this morning? So ch technical challenges, the weather isn't helping, and then trying to get the boats lined up on the beach in order. Um, but I think everybody's well used to rowing at this stage, and they kind of know the competition, so I think everyone's well used to it. Yeah, and we have boats from Strangford Block, um, Carlingford, St. Patrick, St. Michael, so it's a, and the Stella Maris, and of course in our own rowing club we have two, um, two boats that are going out. What's your own name? My name is Victoria. Victoria. What team are you with? Uh, I'm with, with Whitehead Coastal Rowing Club. Whitehead. A lot of preparation, a lot of training over the winter. Lovely. Um, but yes, hopefully the weather will get better as the day goes on. <laughs> I don't on. know about that. Goodness. Are you worried? I'm a worried. Um, just, yes, all the weather worries me. Not yeah, anything yeah. else, but no, I, I would be excited just to be out there and doing it. Yeah, and you're with the team Whitehead I am, as well? Yes, I am indeed. Um, and how long have you been uh, rowing yourself? Uh, about five, six years. Yeah. What sort of things do you get out of rowing, or what, what? What would you say is the the main thing you get out of rowing? What does it do for you? The main thing's the social aspect and also the fitness. So it is the start of the race now and people are getting into the boats to start the warm up and um, very wet conditions here this morning but it seems quite calm the water's calm they've just had their prep talk everybody's geared up and ready to go it's a lot of smiley faces and i don't know how but just looking around a lot of hard work gone into today what's um, the what's the form like here today a lot of grit and determination it's well at the moment now it's the excitement here everyone's been standing around in the rain they're eager to get into the water to start warming up the muscles for the row. I'm excited to wait to see all these boats getting into the tide. Again, the excitement of thinking back 5,000 years ago when they did brought the curbstones from here to Newgrange. Now you see these boats competitive, a lot different. All they have is the weight of everyone in the boat. Mm. As, as I say, 5,000 years ago, you had a big curbstone being pulled behind you. Rowing this, its conditions is perfect for rowing, apart from the rain. And you'd wonder, five thousand years ago, would they have set out on a day like today? They probably had the the grit and determination, the same as today, to do, to to get those. You know, with the calm water at least. Yeah. You know, to is it interesting talking to some of the people here this morning who've been watching the weather all week? Five thousand years ago, they weren't able to go onto their phone and watch the weather and see what was coming. 